guys, so in today's video I wanted to talk about some cute vegan shoes for fall that I picked out. Um, I've got a little bit of everything over here to show you. Before I forget, um, I do always recommend that if you shop online, I'm going to try to like put all the links to these things below. Um, if you do shop online, definitely check out Ebates. Like, you have to get Ebates. I use it. Um, this is not sponsored by Ebates. It's just you get free cash back. So I will leave my link for that below. It works for Sephora, Urban Outfitters, like all kinds of big stores, Amazon. So if you want cash back on all your online purchases, definitely check that out. And I get a little kickback from it too. So it's like a win-win. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first pair of must-have vegan shoes for fall are definitely the Doc Martin Vegan Jaden 2s. I have mine in like the kind of cherry red color. Unfortunately, the vegan ones do not come in black, but I'm kind of glad actually because it forced me to get out of my comfort zone and go with a little bit of a different color. Um, what I absolutely love about these is I've really gotten sick of the traditional look of regular Doc Martens, and I feel like this is a really cool updated version. The um, sole on the bottom is a little bit thicker than the original, so they just kind of look a little bit cooler and edgier, and um, I really like this update from Doc Martin. They look so cute with like socks sticking out, they're really comfortable, and a very high quality pair of shoes. Um, I'm gonna talk about more, I'm gonna talk more about this company later, but this website called Bershka, um, I think it's called, has a fake version of these that's cheaper if these are a little bit out of your price range that are really cute as well. So I will put that info below. The second pair of shoes are from Jeffrey Campbell. These have a satin upper up here, a little bit of shine to them. So I really like that little bit of visual interest. And you'll definitely see a trend in my choice of shoes. I really, really like platforms. Um, it just adds an edge, it makes your legs look longer. And again, because they're all black, they kind of go with everything. And if you want a similar style for less, um, I will move on to my next pair of shoes. These are a pair of vintage Skechers. I think they were like five bucks when I bought them at the thrift store. Um, unfortunately, this is probably real leather, but when you buy things from a thrift store, you're not contributing money to the production of leather. You're just using, you're basically recycling goods or that's how I look at it. But anyway, this is a great way to kind of get the look of the Jeffrey Campbell but cheaper. Um, you can find these at thrift stores and if you can't find them at thrift stores definitely check out the app Depop. I'll put my username um, from there on the screen and you can get shoes like this for 40 or 50 bucks sometimes less. Depop is a great place to find even things like the Doc Martens for cheaper because people are always like reselling things they're not wearing anymore. Um, so yeah check out Depop if you want to get things for cheaper. The next pair of shoes is another pair of Doc Martens. These are kind of the menswear style. I want to say they're the 1461s. I'll have everything below, but um, this is not something a few years ago I would have seen myself wearing, but what I love about this style right now is I've been wearing a lot of cropped pants that kind of, you know, show the ankle, and these are the perfect kind of length of shoes to wear a little uh, cute little pair of socks that have a different color or a little bit of texture that stick out the top and they look so cute with pants. Um, again, the vegan leather is really high quality. They're really comfy, so definitely check these out. The next pair of shoes is actually from Zara. These are definitely going off of that like really ugly kind of dad chunky sneaker trend. I personally liked these because they're a little bit different. I feel like they're beige on beige and I really like the different tones in the shoe. These shoes even have a little bit of different visual interest. Like right here, there's some subtle polka dots. Obviously this color goes with everything and they're super, super comfortable. Um, on top of that, they, Zara has a bunch of chunky tennis shoes like this, so I would definitely try Zara for the chunky dad tennis shoe trend for sure. Next, unfortunately, I was trying to look these up and I could not find the same ones online. These are from the brand YRU. YRU has a lot of crazy shoes. Not all of them are my taste, but they do have some like this that just stick out. This is really, really, really nice vegan leather. You might be able to find these boots on Depop or on reselling websites. 
Um, also though from YRU they do have some similar styles and if you're looking for vegan boots similar definitely try Nasty Out or, or Dolls Kill if you're looking for kind of similar styles. Anyway I just like that these they give like a little bit of a western feel they've got the pointy toe they've got some of that kind of like traditional cowboy boot detailing but the studs and the chain make it a little bit edgier and more modern and they're just a really nice pointy toe pair of boots so even if like this part is covered up they're just a great pair of pointy toe comfy boots to wear around. Well, the next pair of shoes in my opinion are a must have for everyone and anyone. They are a vintage pair of Skechers. Um, these happen to be the wide version so they're super super comfortable. I have very wide messed up feet so if you've got messed up feet Skechers are definitely for you. I'm so thankful that these are you know something that <laughs> is in again because having comfy tennis shoes to wear around is just the best. But these ones in particular are all black. They've got the treaded bottom and really, again, give an edge to an outfit. I got these for probably $3 at the thrift store. Definitely try to go thrifting first to find a pair of these. Um, you know, some retailers are trying to sell these for ridiculous prices right now. So if you can, try re reselling websites or Depop and you could probably find a pair of Skechers for a very decent price. Um, I've sold a couple on my Depop with like sparkles. There's just all sorts of cute styles. These with little socks, I mean, I just love. So the next two pairs of shoes are from a website called Bershka. I think it's Bershka, I'll put it below, but um, it's a UK brand that has recently started selling on a United States website. And I'm so excited because they have so many vegan pairs of shoes that are super, super cute. Like I wish I could have bought more. Um, but the first pair are these, definitely they're kind of fake buffaloes. Um, I don't really love, if I can get the real thing, obviously I would want them, but they are leather unfortunately. So I actually really like these. They're not quite, they're not like too similar to the buffaloes where it kind of looks like you're trying to rip them off, if you know what I mean. They're very, very comfortable. They're very lightweight. Sometimes shoes with this big of a sole can be like very uncomfortable and heavy. They're very comfy and so cute, so cool. These are actually probably gonna be like my most worn pair of shoes for fall. That's what I'm feeling like anyway. They really just make every outfit look cute and cool and make your legs look longer. I'm totally obsessed and they're way cheaper than the real buffaloes and they're not leather. So these are also from Bershka. These are um, more of a traditional pair of kind of like combat booty looking boots. And what I really love about these is just that the leather looks really good in person, even though it's vegan. I'm very, very particular with my shoes. I don't want it to look cheap. I don't want it to look, you know what I'm talking about. Like sometimes they can just look cheap. And these were, you know, a really good price for how kind of nice and expensive the hardware and the shoe looks. And they're just a really great basic, again, with cropped pants. Um, to edge up any outfit. I highly recommend these and if you don't feel like buying from Bershka They also sell these on ASOS as well So the final pair of shoes I will not be wearing super frequently But I wanted to include in case you have an event where you have to wear heels um, These are just a pair of pointy toe mules in vegan leather these were from Urban Outfitters and I'm pretty sure they're sold out, um, but fortunately this style I have seen on several other websites, so just keep your eye out. I think if you search the term like pointy toe, toe mule, they should come up, um, but they're actually really comfortable to walk in because the front of the shoe is so wide and I don't know, they just have a really cool factor to them that I have an issue with heels. Like first of all, I don't want to be uncomfortable and these are actually comfortable. But second of all, I just feel like heels can be a little bit too feminine for me and these just kind of hit the right note. They're very just like cool and badass and comfortable at the same time. So those were all of my vegan shoes for fall. Um, Feel free to comment below if you have any other video suggestions along the same line. I would love to start doing more like styling videos. Um, I was thinking about doing like a five ways to style a dress for fall video, things like that, and hauls. Um, but give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye!